to lesson six of my fastest way to get faster series. This one is called The Illusion of Speed. Now, no one would ever call me Jared Copperfield, but I'm gonna do my best to maybe trick you or do something like that. <laughs> now, when I first heard Thomas Pridgen play, I was just blown away. Uh, he has incredible amounts of speed and his really isn't an illusion of speed. He's just incredible amounts of speed. And he also has great groove, you know, great musical vocabulary, and he's just a super fun guy to hang out with. Now, that said, I really tried to dissect what he was doing, and he talked a little bit about it in his lesson on Drumeo, so I'd encourage you to go watch that if you can. But basically what we're doing is we're splitting the notes between our hands and the feet. Now I've written these exercises as 16th notes, but they're really just that. They're exercises to get you started on a concept and to really kind of get this tool in your toolbox. You might play it as 16th note triplets or 8th note triplets or some completely different way than you're actually practicing it today, but this is gonna help you develop that next level of independence and really help you develop that illusion of speed between your hands and your feet. So the first exercise starts with the hands on the snare drum, it goes right hand, then it goes bass drum, left hand, bass drum. Now I play this for one bar of 16th notes. Here we go. The second exercise might look the same, and if you remove the sticking that I've written above, it would actually be the exact same thing. But what we're gonna be doing is basically playing a double stroke roll with our hands. So our hands are actually playing on all of the eighth notes. So one and two and three and four and, inserting the kicks in between. Let me play this for you both slow and fast speeds. The final exercise is very similar, except it's just using a single paradiddle. Now, the single paradiddle is played on all the eighth notes and it's just one rotation through, inserting those kicks in between each of those notes. Here it is at both slow and fast speeds. Now once you can play each of those exercises individually, you can put them all together and play this in sequence. So let me show you how that sounds, again, both slow and fast. So I'd recommend you practice each of the individual exercises for five minutes and then practice the sequence 
for 15 minutes. And that is your practice with the fastest way to get faster for the day. There's many, many other things you should be practicing as well, like learning new vocabulary, practicing your dynamics, practicing different techniques and stuff like that. So don't make this 100% of your practice time, but definitely incorporate some of it because I think it's a very, very useful tool to have. Now, once you get it to a certain point where you're comfortable just playing it on the snare, I'd recommend you start moving it around the drums and actually incorporate some other rudiments in there as well. So sometimes for my warm up, I'll just like play around the kit and experiment with different sounds, playing the hands and then putting the kick in between each note, like this. It's definitely a fun piece of vocabulary to have and it gives the illusion of speed when your hands are really just playing eighth notes and your kicks are just playing offset eighth notes. Nothing is going that fast individually, but when you put it all together, it sounds fast. So that's it for today's lesson. Get to your kit and start practicing. Get off your phone, okay? Stop, stop browsing Facebook endlessly. Stop browsing Instagram until the cows come home. Get to your kit and start practicing. Stop complaining about not getting any better and then never practicing. All right, get to your kit and get some practice. Go.